tarmac. Today you will take your first flight. Try to follow the instructions carefully and don't be discouraged by any difficulties. Let's get going. In order for the plane to take off, it needs to build enough speed. I'm increasing engine power to maximum. Now I can release the throttle lever. The plane will gather speed. Now that my speed is high enough, the plane will slowly lift off the ground. I can use the elevation rudder to make it take off faster. Now the plane is in the air. I'm waiting for it to build up enough speed so that it doesn't fall back to the runway. Then I'll retract the landing gear and flaps. Take off complete. My plane is now airborne. Before you attempt to take off, let's review your knowledge of aircraft controls. The first one is the elevation rudder. It's also called the elevator. As the name suggests, this control is used for ascending and descending. Try it yourself. When you push the elevator down, the plane goes up. When you push the elevator up, the plane goes down. I think that's clear enough. The second control directs the ailerons. Ailerons are used to roll the plane left and right. When you use this control, it makes the aileron on one wing go up, and the one on the other wing go down. Try it. The next control is the rudder. It is used for minor adjustments and when taxiing. Apply it carefully. See for yourself how it works. Now you are ready for takeoff. It's time to try your plane out in the air. The throttle lever regulates engine power. Position the throttle lever at full forward position. Your plane will start gathering speed. Your speed and current engine power are shown as a percentage on the indicators. Watch the plane carefully while it's building speed. Retract the landing gear and flaps after takeoff. If the landing gear and flaps remain extended, they will slow the plane down and decrease its maneuvering ability. Congratulations on your first takeoff. Trust me, when piloting planes, takeoff isn't exactly the easiest part. Make sure you keep an eye on your altitude, especially when maneuvering the plane. You have a special altitude indicator to help you. Now for the ailerons. I've already told you that they are used to control your roll angle. You can even use them to pull off a barrel roll. But I'm not asking you to do a barrel roll right now. Just roll the plane left or right. Excellent. Now for the rudder. You can use it to change the course of the plane slightly. In order to make a sharp turn, you shouldn't use the rudder. It's not meant for that. Now I will teach you how to control your airplane speed. Your airplane speed decreases when you gain altitude and increases when you lose altitude. The ability to effectively convert one into another is the key to your victory in combat. The throttle lever also helps you control your speed. You used it to build enough speed for takeoff. If you drop engine power, your speed will decrease. Try that now. Increase engine power to return to cruising speed. Sometimes you need a quick, short-term increase in flight speed. This can be achieved by using the afterburner. Accelerate the plane. Be careful when using the afterburner. It overheats the engine and might cause it to give out. Turning the plane should be easy for you. To turn, use the ailerons and the elevator. First, you need to roll the plane left or right. 
Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now you've learned the ropes, let's move on to the final part of our flight. Follow the marked route. Congratulations. You have mastered the main principles of piloting. You still have a long way to go, but you've made the first step in exploring the air. You have all it takes to become a real ace. <laughs>